Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. Today we're on the North Shore of Minnesota. It's a little bit windy, but it's a really nice and sunny day. And the fall colors up here are starting to change up on the North Shore. It's absolutely beautiful. Check this out. So as we get further up the river here, I want you guys to know I'm heading to a spot I was recently at where we hiked really far in through the woods to an untouched location and along the way I passed up a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to retrace my steps today, see what I can find along the way, but I did leave a big piece of prenite with some really beautiful green botroidal goodness going on in it. I'm going to try to hike back at least to that spot to get that piece to see if it's still there. I think I know where it is, but we'll see what we can find along the way. And speaking of prenite, there's a big piece right here. Not as nice as the other one though. I'm sure if we clean that off, it would look better. I think we got our first find. You can kind of see it right there. I think it's glowing. I want to say it's carnelian. Actually, I think that's a, looks like a sea maggot. Maybe quartz of, I don't know, either way that's really pretty. It's a good first find. Got our first official banded agate. Ha <laughs> ha, this is a little guy. Looks like we got another Lake Superior agate here. Right there. That's kind of a funky piece. Yeah, not the not a very high quality piece. So we finally made it back to the spot where I left. A really big piece of Betroidal Prenite. This side isn't so great, but check that out. That is awesome. Oh, that is cool. We'll get that uh, rinsed off on our way back. But the whole way I've been walking like this, and as I'm looking, I'm catching my shadow. So this way, on the way back, I won't have a shadow. So I'm really excited to see what we can find. We'll get this wet, and hopefully we can find some more Lake Superior agates. Let's get in the sunlight, how about? That is so pretty. How cool is that? <laughs> there we go. That's much better. All right, we'll keep trekking here. There's a little creek kind of on the side of this river and uh, we'll start looking through it. All right, I stopped because I wanted to show you a couple things I've picked up on my travels here. Got some crystals right there. That's pretty cool. This one also has some crystals. Found a nice little uh, galaxy stone here. Some quartz, little agate bands around the outside there. Bring that one home. And I just spotted this big guy. Cool little uh, crystal pocket. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Found another piece of granite right here. That's pretty. I'll probably leave this one. It's nice though. All right, so I just spotted this guy, which is really pretty. And uh, I'm not even too sure what it is. But I also spotted this little Lake Superior agate. It's got some nice little bands on it. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that we're not finding more because there's so much material to look through. But I think one of the challenges is it's the end of the year. Uh, I believe the 
spots probably pretty easily accessible so I mean to find anything really I'm gonna be happy no matter what uh, but yeah I'm just also really happy we found that big chunk of uh, prenite we we're able to bring that home glowing in the Sun right there it's a very weird very weird looking nodule galaxy stone it's got little uh, quartz bugs all over in it I believe that's probably a migdaloidal rhyolite but I also spotted where did it go my eyes are playing tricks on me I guess oh it's right here possible agate nodule Eh, nope. It's not. Tricked me. Some sort of quartzy thing. So that about wraps it up for me. I think we found some pretty cool stuff and I'm really excited. I was able to go back, get that huge chunk of prenite so we can add that to our collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.